Hi guys, it's Brooke with Cali Quill Keepers, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a um, waterer out of this $2 uh, shoe box that I bought at the Dollar General the other day. And you guys can see my video if you haven't watched it already. It's under my playlist. Uh, and so I'm just going to take the lid off here. And I actually did one here with the horizontal nipples. And I did uh, one just to make sure that it would work with this uh, cheap plastic that you get for, you know, a uh, couple bucks. So, first of all, we're going to start out with our carb hole saw, our one and a half inch carb hole saw that I showed you guys in my other other video about uh, how to make your automatic feeders that are low waste. So we're going to put this guy in our drill. Hopefully it doesn't run out of juice this time. So I'm going, it's got this extra little uh, pre-drill bit on the end there, and I'm going to go ahead and start it with that. But don't press all the way down to your other circular saw. Whoopsie. I'm back. Hopefully. Thing. You guys should see what I'm working with here. All right, I got my hole. Now, I'm going to take this bit off here. And we're going to put in, it's a um, 9.30 seconds. Okay, I know it's an odd number metrically, but it's a, you know, a little bit there. So put this guy in, and this is going to make our final hole so that our uh, horizontal nipple waters can uh, fit nicely without, you know, any gap or leaking around the edges. Alright, that's it. Oh my. Alright. So now we got our hole. Take our horizontal nipples. And you guys can get these on, like, Amazon for, like, a buck or something, right? And then I'm actually, I bought these little um, rubber, uh, they're like little gaskets or whatnot. I don't know what the heck they called them in the um, hardware store, but I bought these guys to put on the end here to kind of give it a little bit more security when, uh, you know, we're putting our water in. So hopefully it's not going to leak. And then it's got these waters have these uh, threads at the top and so very gently you're gonna catch it uh, the first thread there very gently and then once you catch your thread you're gonna gently screw it in and it's gonna work its way down for you guys real easy There you go. Perfect. So I'm going to do this last one here and um, I'm going to fill it up with water. See how it does. All right. Do our pre drill. Or not our pre-drill, but first hole. Putting on our other uh, nine thirty seconds bit here. I know it seems like, you know. Not a big difference, but it really is when you're uh, drilling out these holes to make it nice and tight. Put another one of these little rubber washers or whatever the heck you want to call it on. And I paid like 50 cents for one of these stupid things, but I don't know. I'm sure you can get them cheaper or find something 
better that might work. Screw this guy on. Obviously, you're going to want to give it a little pressure there on the back side. Come on, you little stinker. But it's really important not to, you know, have your holes very big. There it is. Screwing, screwing, screwing it on. Alright, almost done, guys. Now hopefully this is going to hold the water. So I got two liters of water, which is just over two quarts. Hopefully I'll go over those nipples to give you guys a presentation. Just barely. See how it's not leaking, guys? No leaks. And I'll tell you, I've actually tried a lot of uh, different ways to make holes and stuff in the Tupperwares. I actually, uh, when I first got into coil, I was using the horizontal nipple waterers on um, like recycled juice jugs and stuff like that. Um, so that's another way you guys can use these so i just wanted to show you that today and then you can put your little lid on so obviously this can fill at least you know another one uh well it's two liters so it can definitely fill up much more water for you that's not even halfway full but you guys can tell that it's not leaking i'll hold it up and I'll show you guys <laughs> see there's the water coming out so they'll definitely come to these and get their little drinks for the day and this you can actually use in small cubbies and you know smaller cages and stuff and they're probably going to get on top um and get it all poopy or whatever but this is totally functional and it's definitely affordable and you can actually do more of the nipples on the sides or the back if you'd like um so yeah i hope this helped you guys out and uh we'll talk to you guys soon bye <laughs>